Let me introduce you to the latest technology in cookware called Eurocast by Berghoff. It's such a pleasure to work with, it's fat free, it's non-stick and the great thing about it is lightweight. The best thing to do is to let me show you what I mean. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to just burn this pan with a little bit of milk to simulate years ago when people used to do a sauce in the pan. On an old fashioned pan it would stick like glue and you'd be scratching and scraping so we're going to show you nothing sticks. In this one we're going to do you a quick omelette. Now we're not going to use any fat, any oil, any butter. We're just going to throw whatever we're using straight onto a dry pan. Now you know and I know at home, if you do this on a dry pan, again, it will stick like glue. But the one thing most people like about this new range of cookware is very simply the weight. It is one of the lightest cast pans in the world. It looks heavy, but it's not. Now inside the pan is the unique part, the black and white. It's ceramic and titanium mixed together. You've got the strongest property in the world with one of the most heat resistant. When you mix the two together, as you can see inside the pan, it literally lifts itself off the pan. When you're doing your omelette, that is as simple as it's ever gonna get. When you're ready to serve up, it literally falls out the pan like that. Very, very simple. So we take it further. Fried eggs on a dry pan without any fat or oil. Healthy and fat free. Now here's a little tip for you, which you may or you may not know. If you prefer a poached egg or a steamed egg, don't do what people used to do years ago. Get a big saucepan of water, throw a couple of eggs in, they come out like little tiny pellets. Okay, if you look inside the pan, this pan is so uniquely non-stick that where it starts to go white round the edge, I can literally lift that up, fold it over, put the lid on, and that will poach and steam both sides at the same time. It takes less than two minutes and it tastes fantastic. Now, are you happy that that is burnt inside the pan there? because what you would normally do is be scratching and scraping. To show you how non-stick this pan is, I'm literally going to pull that directly out the pan, and that is what I call non-stick. That's a pretty impressive piece of kit. All you do then is put it in the sink with some soapy water, job done. When you want to put it in the oven, all you do, remove the handle. It's a safety handle. There's no buttons, there's no springs, there's no clips. Nothing's going to go wrong in years to come. You go from your stove top over to your oven, Give it a couple of turns and it drops off. The reason why we call it a safety button is very simple. When you want to take it out of the oven, you come straight underneath it, couple of turns and walk away. Safety. At night, screw it back up. Now, as I said, whatever you're cooking on, it makes no difference because we're using gas, electric, ceramic or induction. It works exactly the same way. For induction, you have a ferrous plate. You need a magnetic plate to induce it. That will induce an induction hob. But what that allows me to do on a pan like this is very simple, to cook easily. Pancakes on a dry pan. Now that's the ultimate test for fat-free cooking. Now most people when they do a pancake at home, they burn the first one, cook the second one, and they use fat and oil in the process. That's on a dry pan. Now in my house, the worst thing to stick to any piece of cookware is starch, rice, pasta, potato. When you leave it burn, you've got a little bit on the bottom, you're scratching and scraping. Well. This rice has been on for a couple of hours now, so it should be nearly ready. But if you burn anything to this degree, you definitely need one of these pieces of cookware. All you do is bring it over to a table, give it a nudge, turn it over, and not even rice will stick to the base of that pan. Now that is pretty impressive. But the impressive part is not the rice, it's the pan. Because inside that pan, even though I've burnt it, it doesn't scorch, it doesn't mark, it doesn't discolour. That's the power of this new Eurocast cookware absolutely fantastic. So when you do your fried egg or your poached egg without any fat or oil, we know that even after less than two minutes, you've got a nice runny yolk in there. And again, no fat or oil. You don't need to scratch or scrape. Just give it a nudge in the pan and it will literally slide around the pan like that. When you're ready to serve it onto your toast, bring it over to your toast and it will simply fall out the pan. How fantastic is that? And there's your pancake. No fat, no oil, no butter. Again, it simply slides straight out. Now the last thing we show you is the most important thing of all, is the washing and cleaning. Because if a pan doesn't wash up quickly, you won't use it, okay? So I'm just gonna burn this pan in here, but I'm gonna burn it black to show you worst case scenario, to show you there's no scrubbing and scraping. While that's burning, one question we get asked an awful lot about this cookware is about scrambled egg. So I'm gonna show you, because don't do what they tell you on the TV about doing scrambled egg in a microwave, as a different taste, different texture. Do it in a good frying pan. Lots of people think it takes a lot longer. I can do it in here in about 10 to 15 seconds. Just throw some egg inside the pan and give it a rinse round. 
Now, when people ask me, can I use my metal spoon, my metal whisk, can I use a knife in this cookware? We always ask one question. Have you ever seen a metal yet that doesn't scratch? Honestly, no, that's because there isn't one. So when you come to use utensils, always use opposites, wood, plastic, synthetic, or silicon. Then that way, it'll look like that in years to come. My scrambled egg is done already. I can serve it up very simply like that, and there's no scratching and scraping what's left. I can use a paper towel or a towel like so at home, put it in the sink with some hot soapy water, it cleans as easy as that. How fantastic is that? But if you burn anything to the degree that I'm burning in this one here, and I'm just going to turn this one up to show you it on full power on my new induction hob, which everybody loves to cook with. The great thing about this cookware, it's chemical free. There's no PFOA in it, it's toxin free. It goes in the oven, goes in the freezer, goes under the grill, the handles are detachable, and it's, nothing sticks. So it's almost a pleasure to cook, almost. But if you burn anything to the degree I'm burning in this pan here, you'd normally be scratching and scraping. Now, again, on my induction hob, if I take this off, this one has an automatic cutout. So in seven seconds, it's safe. But that's pretty burnt inside there. And all I'm going to use to wash the pan is a glass of water. To prove it's water, at the moment it is, I'll drink it. Mm. Don't try this on a normal piece of cookware at home. You may not have the same answer. But if you watch inside the pan, what happens? It will bubble and blister any fat, any oil, any residue off the pan. Come to the edges, give it a nudge, and that is your washing and cleaning. We sell more pans to men for this one reason alone, the washing up, than anything else. It's as simple as that. But home, put it in the sink with some soapy water, job done. You're a cast cookware, make sure you get yours. It's so simple to cook with.